Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. Uh, it was a great, terrible day today. Uh, it was uh, basically as bad as it can be while still kind of being good. Uh, I say that because we were getting shellacked at the beginning of the day. Uh, the beginning of the day, uh, well, actually, at the beginning of the day, we weren't too bad because we got, like, a good um, unemployment uh, numbers out. So it's just, like, uh, April created, you know, a little bit more jobs than, like, people expected. And the unemployment rate uh, dropped to 8 and a half uh, percent and it was like double digits beforehand so people were like making hay out of that it's like oh that's great that's great um other people were saying yeah that but that number is deceptive because of this then the other thing and like the jobs created are just like census jobs and other other part-time jobs and blah blah blah. so people were kind of knocking that number around um but it was still like a good number and you know the dow actually was you know pretty uh, green at the beginning of the day and then everything just started to tank um and it was basically starting to look uh, a lot like um yesterday and you know we were really far down with the dow we were really far down with the nasdaq the nasdaq was looking uh, worse than the dow and like it was getting you know a percentage wise so the numbers were actually i think uh for most of the day, very similar, like 300 for the Dow, 300 for the NASDAQ, both down. But that's a higher percentage for the NASDAQ. Um, so things were, you know, looking really ugly. Things were bad. And then slowly in the day, things started to trail up. And surprisingly, a lot of the like big sell-off things that were happening yesterday, I think ended up positive on the day. Apple was positive. Tesla was positive at the end of the day. That's like, what right do they have to be positive when they were like the biggest reasons why things kind of stank yesterday? Thankfully, you know, things kind of got better. Um, so I think the Dow was around uh, 150 down and the NASDAQ was around 140 down. And thinking about it, just because it's on the top of my head, I forgot to mention like what my percentages were at the end of the day, like total. Um, and I just want to make sure like you don't think I'm trying to hide that. I got shellacked. I think like my percentage for the TOD was like negative 5.5% or something like that. And uh, the mutual funds, I think uh, all of them were around uh, negative uh, 3 something percent so i really got beat up by the mutual funds yesterday so i just wanted to mention that because it was off the top of my head so yeah yeah so things were you know really garbage at the beginning of the day and then it, you know kind of got better um what do i think today meant um is today kind of like the rebound that is just like somewhere in the middle of the, the day we had our good selling off point and now things are starting to go back up maybe um, and if you, even if you look at the, the, the two days together, if we ended the day uh, today where we were at the bottom, that would be kind of like a good two-day sell-off from uh, yesterday and today. But would that be enough to kind of like get us back to where we should be? I don't think so, especially not since like it was just an intraday thing. And at the end of the day, we did kind of just like we, we were just like flat-ish on the day. So I think there's a, still enough to sell off but um but knowing that thinking that i did still do a little bit of buying today so how i did on the day um so leading the charge uh no right to be there tesla up uh 2.74 percent uh two two point seven eight percent um so you know um and in the day i did purchase some tesla not in my tod in my ira um, so in the TOD, I sold three shares. In the IRA, I bought two shares back. I bought them at uh, uh, 380. Um, so it ended the day at 418. So you know I could have um, sold those for a profit, like around a 12% profit. I ultimately didn't. Um, just thinking that's like maybe Tuesday is going to be another rally up, and it can get to like 350, and that's where I would sell it. But I, I looked after hours, Tesla's tanking. So, you know, I should have probably sold when it hit like uh, 420, but whatever. Um, so that was uh, my story with Tesla. I could have actually done some day trading, bought it low, sold it high, got a little bit of a percentage, but I didn't. Uh, next we have Zoom. I got some Zoom today. Uh, so that's in my um, TOD because I don't trust it. Um, so I got some of that and it went up from where I purchased it. Uh, that I got 2.75% on the day. So um, I think I got some of that at 360. It's at 369. So yay. 
Uh, hopefully that will uh, continue to go up. But just like Tesla, that was a ridiculous one that was up. So I kind of figure that has plenty of room to drop. So I just got that just in case things were just going to bounce back. And, you know, yesterday and today were just a blip. Um, but, you know, on the more likely case that it's not a blip, I have some more cash on hand to buy more uh, Zoom as it goes down. After Zoom, you have uh, Boeing, 1.35%. Uh, Apple, 0 0.07. Then you get into the losers. You have Pfizer, 0.11. Green Organic 0.88, all negative from now on. Uh, AstraZeneca negative uh, 1.07, Canopy Growth 1.4, Nicola 1.61, Tilray 2.31, Take Two 2.94, Beyond Meat 3.07, DraftKings 3.32, Smith and Wesson 3.48, Aurora Cannabis 5.65, Waifu. 5.87 at the bottom. Uh, it seems on the day I am down 1.3% and my mutual funds, uh, my top one is down 0.81, so that was better than me, uh, 0.9 and point, uh, 1.55. So I did better than uh, one of them. And all of those are definitely... Um, <laughs> reporting what they had today because they were a lot worse yesterday. So not much else to mention. I did do some selling in my Roth. I have two mutual funds in the Roth um, and I you know, sold a bit of money out of both of those because in the Roth I also have um, Nvidia and Apple. And both of those have like been you know, shellacked the last couple of days. Though I shouldn't say Apple's been shellacked. It was positive on the day. But they've been beaten up in the last couple of days more than the mutual funds because the mutual funds is just a big group of things where those are individual stocks. So they, the mutual funds have gone down by a less, a smaller percentage than Apple and Nvidia, especially Nvidia. So what I'm figuring is even though it was uh, the mutual funds were negative on the day, um, and the rule is you sell mutual funds when. It's positive when it's going to close positive because you're going to make money. You're going to make that little bit more. Um, and then you buy when it's red because you make you get in a little bit lower. Um, I sold knowing that the day I sold even when the day was really bad because I just knew they were going to kind of be better than what the you know uh, what my individual stocks are going to be. So I put a little cash on hand on my Roth thinking that you know it is going to be closer to this month is going to be closer to march than it is going to be like july or june where they said like oh we hit the worst day for the nasdaq or the dow since these it's like well when you look back at those the the following days were positive so that was just a blip i don't think this is going to be a blip i think september is going to be a bad month i don't know if it's going to be as bad as march but i think it's going to be bad um, so I put some cash on the side to be able to buy, you know, Apple and Nvidia lower in my Roth. And like I said, with my purchases, uh, in my TOD and my IRA, uh, I got into things that I cared about. I got a little bit into Tesla. I got a little bit into Apple, you know, with things being lower. Um, I got a little bit into Zoom in my TOD. Um, now I think I'm kind of done with, you know, just getting into things on the pullback. Now I'm kind of waiting for a bigger pullback. So it's like if I got into Zoom at 360, I'm not going to be buying any more Zoom until it hits like 300. If I got into um, Tesla at 380, I'm not buying more Tesla until it gets to like 320. Uh, Apple, um, maybe a smaller uh, buffer in between things just because Zoom and Tesla, they kind of went up ridiculously um, with no good reason kind of. Um, so that's why I'm going to wait for a bigger buffer for them to to buy again because they have kind of more of a percentage to fall. Apple, even though it's been good percentage-wise, that's like a normal trustworthy stock. So you think the buffer of them not going any lower is higher than with those ones. So like Apple, I think I got some at like uh, 121. I probably won't get it again until it gets to 100. So um, so I, I I'm going to be waiting for you know things to come down lower in price to get things at a better deal. But if I'm completely wrong on that, if uh, it's gonna be a blip, if next week, you know, it's almost like last week's, you know, type of numbers where it's just like 
Tesla goes up 5%, Apple goes up 3%, and just it's just like off to the races until the end of September, and like this was the only buying opportunity. I'm okay with that. You know, there's still plenty of things low that I can use that cash to. I can buy airlines, I can buy cruise stocks, things that haven't been like ridiculously good like in the last, you know, couple of months. So it's not going to be the worst thing in the world if this is just a blip and I put cash on the side. But it will be very good if this isn't a blip and I put cash on the side. So that's my thinking with that. And really nothing else to mention besides that. I mean, the only type of thing that they were talking about, like on CNBC and whatnot, uh, that wasn't just like about like the, the whipsaw of what today was, was just a little bit of political stuff. I guess um, almost they had to just because of the jobs reports and stuff like that coming out. But um, they, they were kind of talking about it's just like with the good jobs report, with the bad, you know, stock market. And this was like when the stock market was really bad that they were talking about this. Um, does that encourage or discourage, you know, either side from coming in together to do some sort of uh, bill for like the stimulus things and stuff like that? Um, and they were kind of like, you know, wish, wishy-washy and not really answering that question. Um, one of the things that is going to be happening is there is going to be one of those bills that's like keeping the government open. So, you know, the big question is like, are they going to attach the skinny bill or whatever bill or whatever for like, you know, all this economic stuff? Are they going to attach it to that bill? Because that's kind of like a, a must pass type situation bill type thing, even though they've let those things kind of go on for months. Um, that's like the last bill before like the election that's kind of like a we gotta do this type thing so a lot of people are saying it's like if they don't attach it to this thing it's not going to get done this um like stimulus bill and stuff like that um i'm kind of hoping that they do uh, i'm kind of hoping that they do put it together just because i want some sort of bill to be done and i i am kind of of the mind of keep the government shut down i'm not too big of a fan of like the government doing stuff so it's just like yeah i don't care you know you guys be shut down uh, like other people aren't getting a paycheck so you guys shouldn't be getting paychecks um but you know i don't know uh, which side is going to be for that or against that or pushing whatnot um or if anything's going to be passed either with the the government bill or the stimulus bill but that was like something that they were kind of talking about. And uh, that's basically uh, it on the day. Um, it was kind of a, an okay day compared to where it could have been. Um, and we got Monday off. Uh, so it's going to be a long weekend. More news to come out to interfere with stocks and stuff like that. And we'll have to see what next week brings. All right.